Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin, and in today's video, I am talking about making a to-do list comprised of tasks that take maybe five to 10 minutes that you might tend to procrastinate on and just checking them off during those little pockets of time that you can eke out during the day. I am a wife, a mother to two boys, and a homemaker with quite a few years of experience under my belt. And I, over the years, I've noticed that it's often these little five to 10 minute tasks that I tend to procrastinate on more than anything else. I tend to overestimate how much time some of these things will take, and therefore it's a great excuse. I don't have the time, I will get to it later. Not all of these tasks are created equal. Definitely some of them are not fun, not desirable, and that's reason enough to procrastinate. But I manage to procrastinate on some things that are quite enjoyable, like getting outside and deadheading the plants, watering them, and at the same time soaking in a little sunshine, feeling the breeze. But I think I tend to think that that's going to take a lot longer and I just don't have time when there are more pressing tasks to get done inside. This happens especially if you have kids that you have to attend to or if you work from home. But any task that allows you to incorporate some me time into getting something done is one that you should put at the top of your list. Okay, here's one that's hard to see that any me time is involved, but it's something that needs to get done. And I procrastinate because in my mind, I think this is going to take a long time. It only took about five minutes of me actively doing anything. I had to spray down the garbage cans with some disinfecting spray. They need to sit for about 10 minutes. And while that's happening, I grabbed my handheld vacuum, got up all of the crumbs, and then I grabbed a microfiber cloth and wiped everything down. Everything was spick and span in less than five minutes. If you're at all competitive, you might want to set a timer just to see how long it takes, and then the next time you can try to beat your time. Doing a little food prep during the week can be a five to 10 minute task as well. So I'm not talking about doing a great big batch cooking session, but just washing some fruits or vegetables or preparing some hard boiled eggs. I like to do this because my family enjoys them and it just makes it easy when I have them in the refrigerator ready to go to add them to a salad or make an egg salad for lunch or just for everyone to grab as a snack. That's really popular at our house. And and I can make several all at one time in my Instant Pot. It just takes three minutes and it's so easy. When they're finished cooking, I do a quick release of the pressure and then I add a big scoop of ice and some cold water to the pot and just let them sit for a little while. 
I found that this is the best way to make the eggs easy to peel. You know, fresh eggs can be notoriously difficult to peel, and usually that's the case. I didn't have such good luck with this batch. They must have been extra fresh, <laughs> but usually the steam from the Instant Pot and then sort of shocking them with cold water helps release them from the shell a little bit better. But even when they don't come out pretty, they're just as tasty, and I know that I'm going to be really happy to have them ready to go in the refrigerator. For me, this goes into the category of items that I will put at the top of my list because it can be enjoyable too. I find that peeling eggs or washing and preparing fruit and vegetables is kind of a mindless task. So my mind can wander, I can be meditative, I can be planning, or I could be listening to music or watching a YouTube video. Whether or not you like to cook and bake, any of these things can be me time too. I tend to enjoy this, it's very creative for me, and I like the mindless activity where I can let my mind wander. <laughs> but this is a task that sometimes we build up in our minds to be bigger than it really is. When my kids were younger, I could always count on one of them to get involved with some of the baking tasks. They really enjoyed that. Now I have Austin to keep me company because he will eagerly await any carrot scraps that might be available. Just as I began to mix the ingredients for the morning muffins that my family loves, and I'll have that recipe down in the description box for you, it started to rain outside and we have a metal roof, so the sound of the rain was just so relaxing. So I slowed everything down. I didn't worry too much about how long it was going to take, and I just enjoyed the process.
while those were baking in the oven, I checked a couple more things off my to-do list that only take about five or 10 minutes. One of them is to quickly clean out the toaster oven. So I slide out the little crumb tray, get that clean, and then just use a microfiber cloth to wipe up the rest. And definitely when you do this on a regular basis, it's not a bad job. We've had this Ninja combination toaster oven, air fryer, dehydrator. It does so many things. We've really enjoyed it, but one of the best features is how easy it is to clean. It flips up so that it doesn't take up much counter space and you can open the back and access everything. So it couldn't be easier and it's definitely less than a five minute job. So that is checked off the list, all clean. Most of the cabinets that we have in our kitchen are pretty well organized. So when things get a little bit messy and out of control, it only takes about five minutes to get things back in order again. And this one is where we keep all of Austin's goodies. <laughs> so pretty much everything pertaining to him is in this little pet pantry, we call it. And it just takes a couple of minutes to vacuum it out, wipe it down, and then make sure that everything is put back in its place. Austin knows that all of his goodies are here in this cabinet, so whenever I have the door open, he's close at hand. <laughs> I rewarded him with one of his favorite treats, and then as I was reorganizing things, I remembered his favorite toy. And just like I did when the boys were little, I rotate Austin's toys. So I put away some of his favorite things for a little while, and then when he gets them, it's like having a brand new toy all over again. muffins are ready and while they cool I've got time for a couple more quick tasks like tackling the windows and I'm not going for a full window cleaning here I'm just hitting the spots mostly where Austin touches <laughs> if you have dogs you know exactly what I'm talking about the windows from about waist down are always full of little nose smears from our dogs picking out the windows and it just takes about five minutes to take care of those
hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I hope that it gave you some inspiration to think about some of those little tasks, the ones that only take five to 10 minutes and knock those off your list whenever you have a couple of free minutes during the day. And don't forget to make sure some of those include a little bit of me time to reward yourself. Don't leave without subscribing. We would love to have you join our Faith and Flower community. Thank you for spending your time with me here today. I look forward to talking with you in the comments. So leave me one below and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great week.